Graphene is one of the example of carbon nanomaterials, uh, just like CNTs, fullerenes, and these are the two allotropes of carbon. Okay, carbon is a very useful material in terms of nanomaterials, and uh, graphene is like a single sheet of graphite. So graphite has many hexagonal sheets attached to each other. So you can say graphene is a single layer. So if you can see how the layer of the graphene looks like, it's a uh, lot of hexagons are stacked together to give a honeycomb-like crystal structure. Each carbon is sp2 hybridized. Sp2 hybridized means it will be having an unhybridized p orbital which has a free electron and because of that it becomes very good conductor. Okay, so graphene sheets stack to form graphite and you can see these are two graphene layers making a graphite. So you can just cut this and uh, you get a single sheet of graphene. So what exactly is graphene? It's a basic structural element. You can fold graphene to make CNTs. You can stack graphene on one uh, over the earth uh, to make graphite. You can uh, fold it uh, to make fullerenes. So graphite is a sheet of carbon arranged in hexagons. Uh, each carbon is sp2 hybridized where each carbon is attached to three other carbons this is the basic structure you can see the double bonds over here indicating the free electron which is there the unhybridized p orbital has a free electron which is reason for its very good conducting property it's quite flexible uh, uh, but it is tough because of its flexibility you can fold it to give carbon nanotubes these are some of the properties. Graphene is a very, very strong material. It is stronger than steel. It is, in fact, 200 times stronger than steel. It has a structure similar to diamond resistance, but it is very light. It has very good conductivity. Because of the free electron, it has a almost 60% greater conductivity than copper. Okay, so thermal conductivity, it is elastic and flexible, it is very tough, even you can prepare a bulletproof jacket using a graphene. Okay, it can generate electricity by simply exposure to light, so kind of photovoltaic cell. It's a transparent material because of its thickness, it's very, very, uh, you know, the thickness is quite very small. Then uh, it doesn't allow passage of water, uh, sorry, it allows passage of water, it doesn't allow passage of helium. That is why it is also used in purification of water like uh, CNTs. Bacteria don't grow on them. It can conduct uh, uh, he, uh, electricity or we can heat it while in conducting uh, the electricity. It has low electricity consumption compared to other compounds. So these are different properties of graphene and because of these properties of graphene, it has a lot of uses in all types of industries. Okay, in electronics, the, the uh, applications are infinite I could say there are carbon based electronics transistors you can prepare you can prepare displays your mobile screen displays has uh, graphene uh, these materials are very stronger and they are very tough that is why they can be compounded with uh, uh, composites uh, with plastics to make them very strong and tough you can have sensors capacitors can be prepared okay these are all application so when you're making notes you can write uh, these as the properties these as the few applications and apart from this i have included some decent applications graphene is the world's strongest material imagine the strength of this material and that is why you can mix it into other things to make it make them stronger for instance you can prepare composites of plastic with graphene the plastic becomes stronger you can mix it with ceramics Okay, graphene enhanced composite materials can be used in aerospace, building materials, mobile devices. Uh, it has a good thermal uh, conductivity and that is why uh, there are a lot of thermal applications, heat sinks, uh, graphene is very strong and light. Okay, then LEDs uh, can be prepared from that. For example, this is the latest art from Huawei, which has uh, used uh, graphene based thermal films. Okay, energy storage, since graphene is the world's thinnest material, it is also having an extremely high surface to volume ratio and that is why it can be used in batteries and supercapacitors. Nowadays, uh, graphene batteries are uh, in high demand. So, what are the advantages of using graphene as a battery? Higher capacity, faster charging, lightweight, flexible, high temperature range. You can charge it very fast so you don't have to wait for too long. Apart from that, it can be used uh, 
for co as coating sensors electronics uh, for example this is a foldable display because it is flexible you can fold it it has high electrical conductivity so you can use it in displays solar panels dna sequencing latest one is ofet uh, uh, which is a, a replacement to OLEDs. Okay, so these are some of the uh, recent applications where graphene is widely used. You can also use it for road fills, where the road build with the graphene material uh, uh, mixed with this uh, bitumen or tar, it makes your road very tough, you know, and uh, 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 the, the product is more weather and pothole resistance. You won't get any portals because the road is very strong and uh, it can have a greater surface friction, reducing tire fatigue. So you can use it for making road as well. Then in security labels, you must have seen such security labels when you go into the malls or uh, on the garments and everything. So if any theft is try, uh, occurring, then you can have alarm functions. Security labels, um, uh, when, you, when there is a lot of uh, security involved, people are given the strips or bands. So they have this alarm functions and sounds. This is again made up of graphene. And these labels can be wrinkled, they can be folded without being damaged and the cost is very low. Similarly, medical sensors can, are made up of graphene because it can use, it can detect a minimum amount of substance. Okay, so even it can detect a single molecule in a particular, uh, in a large volume of substance. Right, then uh, graphene is very, very tough and uh, because of this, we can prepare armors. We can prepare bullet fruit proof armors. So graphene armor turns harder than diamond. Okay, and hence these are some of the uses of graphene and uh, it's a very beautiful material. There are a lot of applications available. I have listed few. Thank you.